Welcome to our topic number five on project execution and the implementation. Uh, we are saying that these are processes performed to complete the work defined in the, in the project. The project management plan to satisfy the project specification end and definition. Eh? Uh, the process involves coordinating people and resources as well as integrating and performing activities in accordance with the project management plan and we are saying this is the stage where the mission and the vision of the project comes into into reality so implementation simply is now putting uh, the plans into action eh? and ensuring that now you can you can be able to see uh, the end or the, the start of the, the, the real work or the actual work of the project. Uh, factors to be considered in project implementation, so we have the project mission, is the initial uh, clearly defined goals and general direction of the project, so that is the project mission. And then we have uh, top management support, uh, we are saying this is the readiness of the management to provide necessary resources and authority for project success. So the management has to come in handy to support uh, the implementation. Remember, of course, they, sometimes they are in task with provision of finances or showing goodwill for the project. So if it is not there through the management support, for example, in an organization, then it becomes difficult to be able to execute. Then we have uh, stakeholder consultation. Uh, this involves communication, consultation, and active listening to all uh, stakeholders. And number four, we have the technical tasks. Uh, this is the availability of the required technology and expertise to complete the specific technical action plans. Eh? And then number five is uh, monitoring and evaluation. Uh, so this involves extensive control of information at each stage to ensure success. Then uh, what is the purpose of project implementation? Number one, like I have just said, is to put the action plan into, into operation. Then number B is to deliver the results, achieve the purposes and contribute effectively to overall uh, objective of the project. The other one is to manage available resources efficiently that includes time uh, human resources and financial resources and the other one is to monitor and report on monitor and report on 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 progress so uh, that one is very important also to be able to note uh, as we go forward around implementation then uh, the process of implementation we have uh, the execution of the project and we are saying it is the act of carrying out planned activities. Huh? So the execution of the project plan is simply the act of performing tasks huh? and activities that result in, in, in the production of project deliverables. And we are saying the tasks and activities performed must be completed effectively and efficiently. Uh, the project plan, we are also saying that it serves as a roadmap. Huh? and a common frame of reference for all members of the of the project team. So execution of the project number two is measuring project progress. Uh, this acts to provide assurance that the project is progressing as, as planned or reveal the need to intervene and take action to ensure the achievement of the desired uh, business objectives. Uh, the other one is that it, uh, performance measuring involves the gathering, scrutinizing, and reporting uh, project performance information to provide the project team and stakeholders with information on the status of project execution. So we need to know how we are going to measure progress. Eh? Remember I talked about milestones. So we need to know on what points of our project are we going to identify and have the milestones checked. Of course it is important because at those particular milestones we are able to identify uh, any challenges that might arise and also make uh, the necessary action where possible. And then of course we the fourth 
step or the third step is uh, the reporting project status. A standard requirement of all projects is to provide information to both executive management and the team members on the status of the project. Eh? And we're also saying although the frequency of the reports may sometimes vary, the frequency should correspond with the, inf with the information requirements eh? identified in the project communication plan. So we need to do some uh, reporting, uh, communicating on uh, where are we in terms of uh, the project. That is important as we do uh, the implementation part. And then the fourth one is modify project, uh, apply management control. No matter how well defined projects are, situations will arise that require changes to be made eh, to the project plans. Uh, they may be imposed by senior management, by changes in the business environment, or the changing preferences of a, of a client. So uh, control, we need to exercise uh, various controlling techniques, even as we implement. We also cognizant that we might run uh, out of resources midway, and that is what we should be seeking to avoid. And then user acceptance, acceptance criteria for project deliverables establishes in advance an agreed upon standard of performance yeah? or capability that the user will accept in a specific deliverable. So user acceptance is also uh, very, very important. Uh, so the performance plan developed in the, in the project phase articulates the project deliverables and acceptance. Uh, criteria. So that brings us to the end of our topic on uh, implementation. Uh, we shall be continuing as we seek to come to the end of uh, discussing the module. Thank you.